I thought today I'd share with you how easy another one of the kits I bought at the Seattle Miniature Show is. So stay tuned and see how I took this kit and created this adorable little planter. And as a bonus, we're trying something new to finish it with. Stay tuned and see what we use. Alright, so today I thought we would go through and do another one of the kits from the Seattle Miniature Show. This is another kit. This is by the same lady that made the little stair shelf kit, Modern, Min Modern Miniature Magic, and her contact information will be in the blog post. This is a little one inch square planter. I thought it was really cute, really simple to put together. And I'm gonna, I've been playing with this, something different for finishing. I'm going to give it a shot on this kit. So here's our kit. We have a page of instructions, the picture, and our piece of wood. Like always, if you are going to use a wood stain, you'll want to wood stain this before you glue it together. Uh, my thing I'm gonna, I've been playing with seems to work just fine on over glue, so I will find out. Now these are just held in. There's a little tiny piece on each one. Very, very small. This is the base. I'm going to keep the base in here for right now. And what it says is that we are going to put these together. Let's see. Is this way? Using these little taps. Let's see, first I think I want to sand off where they were held together. It's not a big piece, but get that off of there. All right. Now, I think I want the side with the grain out. So I'm going to dry fit first. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to attempt to do this without my gluing jig today because I don't have it in here. It's sitting in my other in a different room and it's got something drying on it. All right. So I think we're just going to go for it. I have my glue. I'm going to put a pool of just tacky glue right there. I've got my super glue here if I decide I need it. So I'm going to run a bead of glue. I'm going to try and keep any glue mess to the inside, but I don't think it really matters today. So I hope you're enjoying these kits that I'm putting together. Um, I think I love doing kits, and I think I'm hoping that by showing you guys the kits, then it encourages you to 
to go out and buy some of them and to be able to enjoy them in your projects. Okay. So that went together really pretty well. If I hadn't been on camera before I could have actually got my head and right over it, it would have been even easier. This is a super easy kit to make. So I'm going to pull this out. This is our bottom. I think I'm going to just glue it. I'm going to assume that I'm working upside down, I think. There. Make sure this is glued. This is nice and straight. I'm going to glue my bottom onto this. By gluing the bottom on, this way I know that I've got everything nice and square before the glue dries. And then we can get on to the fun part of finishing it. And I didn't even need my super glue. This is awesome. Alright, so there we are. We are completely glued and that took us like five minutes. That's how long this is going to take. So now the glue needs to dry and when the glue dries We'll come back and we'll put a finish on this. Alright, so the glue has dried overnight. Uh, and now it's time I want to add some color to this. And I decided I wanted to do something a little different with this one than I have in the past. And I've been playing with water-based markers. Now, I, I do a lot of different crafts. Not just the miniatures and the doll stuff. But I do card making and scrapbooking and art journaling and all kinds of stuff so I bought a whole bunch of water-based markers this happens to be a memento brand but any brand of water-based markers should be the same I've been playing with these on wood they work really well I prefer the brush end but this it gives kind of a almost like a wood stain effect but without the mess um, you could mix colors and the glue doesn't see where the glue oozes out doesn't seem to affect this at all but you can see it covers really well it's up to you if you want to put a clear finish on it um, I would assume that any water-based marker would work probably even the the Crayola kids markers you can buy you know, at practically any store. Um, try it out on a scrap of wood. I actually tried several different colors on the the extra piece of uh, wood from the kit to choose what col color I wanted to do. I'm not going to do the inside, but there you can see it makes a really cool look like a wood stain, but like I said, without the mess. So I'll let this dry and then I'll get some pictures of it. I hope you enjoyed seeing this kit put together. I will have the contact information for the uh, maker of this kit in the blog post. Um, if you do decide to contact her to get a kit, let her know where you heard about it from. Um, that helps me out and it helps her to know where people are learning about her products at. Remember to check out the blog and check out the Facebook page. And if you make some stuff off of my videos, send me a picture. I'd love to see what you're working on. Also, be sure to ask if you've got a request. Be sure and, and let me know what you want to see. So until next time, have fun with your minis. Bye.